Hey guys, Bushcraft412 here. Quick video on the Cold Steel Cutlass Machete. A uh, new product out by Cold Steel. Only been out a couple of months. Not a ton of videos um, on YouTube so far about this. It's kind of uh, kind of getting passed over. It's just kind of sad because I really uh, do like this uh, this machete. Um, <coughs> and once again, you're going to excuse me, guys. I'm I'm pretty sniffly and coffee. Um, I've <laughs> coffee. Uh, I've I've had a pretty bad cold. I've been trying to get over for the last couple of uh, weeks, so you had to excuse me if I'm a little out of it today. Um, get this out of the way. It comes with the standard cold steel nylon sheath with the big belt loop, so it will go over duty belts. And yes, I said duty. Um, regular uh, snap to retain the handle. No better, no worse than any other cold steel. Uh, nylon sheath that you get. Um, the blade itself is 24 inches long with a 30 inch overall length. It's made of carbon steel with a black epoxy coating and the uh, handle has the uh, knuckle guard and uh, cold steel has added a metal I'm not sure if it's a wire or a bar in the handle and in the knuckle guard to protect your hands. So this is not just a uh, over molded uh, plastic there is actually a uh, metal guard in there to protect that from breaking or collapsing as you can see it has that really neat um, style tip that's uh, like with their uh, their 1917 uh, saber kind of tip to it very nice kind of uh, thrusting tip the edge is uh, you know for cold steel okay it's not the sharpest cold steel I've had out of the box I've had some that are laser sharp and others that are pretty weak this one falls in the middle so it's definitely going to need some sharpening uh, especially after I played around with it on some cardboard boxes so that is the blade thickness on this um it's kind of an in-between for cold steel it's not the thinnest but not the thickest as you can see there is there is flex to it, but it's also thick enough to do some real damage. So I do, I do like it, and it is a uh, line that up here. The uh, thickness is is kind of in that bread and butter zone where it's not so thick that it's hard to use. You know, it's very light. You know, I was chopping away some cardboard and some some wooden dowels in the uh, in the barn. It cuts through them like butter. And it can handle some pretty thick, you know, pieces of wood. Um, but it's not as thick as, as what you're going to get with, like, the Kukri Machete or, or that uh, that budget line. that are just the really thick slabs of steel. So it's a really nice balance, in my opinion, of weight and uh, durability. So really nice. Not something you're going to take down trees with, guys. This is, don't think you're going to go out in the woods and, and take down full-size trees with this. You're not. This is more of a brush and bush kind of machete with uh, a little bit of kind of a you know a flair to it and it's, it's designed after those old school uh, kind of sabers so I really enjoy it it's uh, really fun to play with really light easy to use feels great in the hand you got a lanyard hole in the end um, only complaint you know of course the, the finish is not perfect uh, like with many of the, of the uh, cold steel uh, products the machetes with the black epoxy coating it's not perfect. There's a couple spots where it's thicker, a couple spots where it's thinner, but that's what you get with cold steel, uh, particularly in their budget line of uh, machetes and knives. You get those kind of flaws. Um, the edge appears pretty straight. The blade's pretty straight. Everything's pretty good. Um, Price-wise, $39. Bucks. Um, you know, not their cheapest machete. You know, you can get the Kukri for like $25. You can get some of their machetes for, for under $20 sometimes when they're out. Um, you know, of course, it's competition. It's something like here, like this uh, Condor. Which is why I usually like buying knives in uh, twos, you know, or something, and then something similar. So that here is the uh, the uh, Condor Jungle Saber. Same idea, kind of a machete with a knuckle guard and kind of a saber look to it. Um, major difference, of course, is that uh, Condor is made of stainless steel as opposed to carbon steel. So you're not going to have that toughness that you're going to get. But just wanted to show that for comparison purposes. Um... I guess the big thing about this knife is, this machete, I should say, is uh, 
you know, it is a good over, you know, all around long machete. Um, I would have no problem using it in self-defense situations. I would have no problems using it as a, uh, a brush cutting clearing machete. You know, 39 bucks. It's a little on the pricey side for cold steel, in my opinion, but I like it overall. And plus there's that channel. I know a lot of people don't like it, but that, uh, zombie go boom channel where they take a lot of these weapons and use them on, um, ballistic dummies. And, uh, Lynn Thompson from, uh, Cold Steel used this, uh, machete on a, uh, a ballistic head and cleave clean through the skull with it, which I thought was pretty impressive, um, particularly given how, th how thin the machete was. So it's definitely a, you know, a real workhorse of a machete and it's not getting a lot of, not a, not a lot of play on YouTube and not getting a lot of press, but I really think it's a cool thing to have and it is great. I think, uh, if you have that void in your machete collection where you have the thin flexible machetes and you have the thick you know like kukris and things like that this is kind of a nice in between it's long you know 24 inches and and thick enough to really do some heavy work so i think it's it's right in that kind of middle zone and, and kind of fills a a gap in your collection quite nicely plus you know it is kind of stylish and looks kind of nice so i i do enjoy it and did have a lot of fun playing around with it and uh and that's that um so we covered it you know quality good carbon steel blade cold steel decent you know budget products um just a rehash polypropylene handle with the metal guard in the knuckle lanyard hole black epoxy coating 24 inch blade that's about it pretty simple we'll give you one close look at this bad boy again as you can see hopefully show you some of the imperfections in the in the coating here like that right there and you can see some of it's a, it's a little marred up from like cutting and playing around with it already but those uh those coatings that uh, cold steel does they last quite a while even if you really abuse a knife so, so you can see there's you know some spots where you can see where it's thicker and thinner Some spots where they got you know the finish on the on the actual edge where it probably wasn't ground right there, right there probably more of a grinding issue but I'll show you real quick before we go just a comparison of the thickness of the uh, condor versus the cold steel because they're they're pretty close uh, cold steel is a bit thicker Probably a hair thicker, maybe half a millimeter thicker, so. But uh, size-wise, they are pretty close. You can see the cold steel has the much better lanyard hole. So with all that, I hope you guys enjoyed Bushcraft Force with the uh, cold steel cutlass machine.